Hey, what's up everybody? It's Melanie from Lost and Found. We are back for just a super impromptu thrift haul today. So if you like just a good old fashioned, let's see some stuff that I grabbed <laughs> this video, is gonna be for you. I went to the flea market a couple days ago, specifically looking for some stuff for fall. And I didn't find quite as much as I was hoping to find, but I did come home with a few good things. And so before I kind of get them tagged and take them up to my booth space or get them in the online store, I'm not exactly sure what's gonna happen to all of them. I wanted just to run through and share them with you guys here today. This video is a little bit different. You may not recognize where I am, but I am in my garage. <laughs> so this is actually where I pack and ship um, all of my orders. This is where the magic happens, you guys. Just keep this video real <laughs> and share with you guys the stuff that um, that I found. Let's get started looking at what we have. Oh, I will say at the end of the video, I've had some requests to kind of show a few more vignettes. And so we're gonna try to pull some of this stuff together and do a couple of vignettes. I may cheat and grab some more things from my house um, because like I said, we don't have a ton. But just to give you some idea for how you can use some of this, that's my plan. Okay, so the first thing um, is this awesome vintage half gallon milk jug. I love it that it still has the wire hook on it. Um, it was five bucks. God, you just can't I don't know, you can't get too many good glass jugs. I'm currently obsessed with this greenery that I bought. Um, I have them in my online shop and I have them in my booth. Isn't that awesome? And so check out like just dropping it down inside of here. Look, I'm skipping to the vignette part already. Here you go. But look at how cute that is, right? For fall, I mean, you could put some leaves. You could actually go you know, get some twigs and with some leaves on it in your yard, drop them down in here. I think this is gonna be a great piece and it's likely gonna go up to my booth space, maybe probably with that done in it. Okay, here's another little cutie. This is a vintage Ironstone creamer. So check out the, um, the mark on it there. It is Kensington, 1802. Um, I forget what the pattern was, it was on the tag, but it was marked down to $2.80. So it's got, you know, a little bit of staining and crazing, which for some people is kind of the look right now, but this pretty kind of olive green, again, great little piece for a fall vignette. Can't ever pass up antique ironstone, less than $3. The inside is kind of stained, but it was a good find. All right, check out my $1 Avon uh, aftershave <laughs> bottle. You, you know, they've got just a ton of these Avon aftershave bottles and all sorts of different designs. I actually just sold one that was like, he was um, a little soldier, he was all white. But this one, it just, I don't know, again, it just made me think fall. I was thinking pheasants, turkeys, I know it's not a turkey, but it kind of had that feel. I thought it would look cute in a fall vignette. It's got that dark brown color. It was a dollar. I think he's just kind of fun. I like birds. I like anything with birds, so he came home with me. And another great fall piece is this bottle. It was marked down to three. It's a cool shape. It's a good size, and check it out. It also looks fun with this greenery in it. See, I'm telling you guys, this thing right here is just amazing. It makes so much stuff look cute. So pop some greenery in it. That green and brown in a fall display, I just think is awesome. You don't have to do everything like the orange leaves. You can still have a little bit of green in there. It just adds a little bit of life and some transition, but I love brown bottles. I When I found this one, I was hoping that I could find some more because I like to get them in a collection. This is the only one I found, but um, cool shape, cool size, three bucks. Awesome. All right. When I am pulling together vignettes, I love finding just little different things that you're just not gonna see everywhere. Something that's just gonna make it kind of stand out. And so that is what this little dollhouse clock does. Look at how cute that is. So it's just, I mean, somebody made it themselves. Kind of fun, right? So, but it's, it's tiny. I'm also kind of, besides being a sucker for birds, I'm a sucker for anything in miniature. And I just, I love that this is hand painted and somebody, somebody did this. So I think it was like two bucks maybe but we're gonna put it together in a little vignette. And it just, when you've got different little things like this, um, it just makes people, 
the people notice they're like, I've never seen anything like that before. You don't always see vintage doll furniture, right? Like you see lots of brown bottles, lots of milk jugs, but this is just something that's that's a little bit unique. And that's the kind of stuff that I like to have in my booth. That's the kind of stuff I like to have in my house. I have a lot of I have a lot of miniature stuff in my house. I have a mini piano. I have a mini well. I have a mini couple little mini houses. <laughs> uh, a tiny, tiny little mini pitcher. I like mini stuff. So maybe this will stay with me. I don't know, but um, I thought it was cute. All right, this I was excited about. A mohair shoe shine brush here. I think I paid maybe $5 for it, um, which is a little more than what, you know, I would necessarily want to pay them happier in like the $3 range. But um, this one was clean. It had the right patina here on the back side. Perfect for fall. Something about this, it just says fall to me. The texture, the warmth of it, it feels like fall. So it's going to be a nice little part of the fall vignette. I was super excited to find this nice decanter. Walker's Deluxe Bourbon, 1976 is what it says on the bottom. Cool, kind of modern star pattern there. This must have been where the label was because right here, every other place there's these little stars, but right here there's not. So the cork's in decent shape right here. Um, these always just sell really quickly for me in my booth space. So um, it may go in the online shop. I'm not sure it may go up in the booth, but seven bucks was a, a, a nice price. Of course, I always like to find things for cheaper, but there's definitely still some room for profit on this guy. Okay, if you saw my last little DIY project video, I talked about wanting to try and make some candles. I did make a candle from a candle that I had had that was broken. I scraped out the wax, reused it, um, and did it in an old tin. And I had, there were two tins and one failed because one didn't hold water. I had tested it before and I knew it wasn't holding water and so I put a bead of silicone tried to seal it all up, but it still didn't hold. So I'm still wanting to play with this whole candle thing. Um, so I decided let's let's step away from tins for a minute and let's find stuff that for sure is gonna hold water. So I got these three just little cut glass um, cream and sugar. This is a sugar, this one was a dollar, nice little piece. And then these guys, little cream and sugar were, um, I think it was like 250 for both of them. So these are gonna be my next um, candle experimentation pieces. I don't know, I'm kind of intimidated by the whole process of it. I don't know why. I don't know why it feels so intimidating. It's like I was trying to read up on it and it's like, I just feel like there's a lot of math in it. You've gotta know the ratio of the scent to the wax and does anybody else get like that when they're trying to do something and it's like, you feel like you wanna learn all you need to learn and then it just starts to feel overwhelming and then you just don't do it. So that happens to me a lot. So I'm trying to, to just not get overwhelmed and just kind of practice. I bought a bag of wax. I bought some scents. Honestly, you guys, I just need to melt the darn wax and put some stuff in it and let's give it a go. They're not going to be perfect. They don't have to be perfect. That's just an honest struggle for me is sometimes letting perfection be the enemy of just trying something new, of being creative. So you guys got some encouragement for me, <laughs> leave, some, leave some in the comments. So um, hold me accountable to these. I want to make candles out of these three. And so it was like, you know, I don't know, three, three fifty, maybe four bucks, whatever for all of these, which I thought was a good price. You want to see my favorite thing that I found? Ready? Okay, here it is. Check that out. Is that not absolutely gorgeous. It is hand painted Delft down here. It's got this kind of shiny iridescent and then this vintage brass, this little vase. I think it's stunning. It's absolutely gorgeous and it was five dollars. The warmth of it compared like contrasted here with the blue kind of iridescent. It's just absolutely perfect. It was a great find. I'm so excited about it. All right, this was also super cool and spoke fall for sure. The kind of warm wood, the antelope, I don't know, anything deer, antelope, you know, moose, all that stuff feels very, those animals feel very fall-ish. Uh, the woodland 
you know, kind of woodland animals. Unfortunately, obviously it's a bookend. There was only one. So the other one is long gone, but um, that's no reason to not give it a go. Like you can just stack up some books here. So it was 350 hand carved. I think this, these are really cool. Whenever something is carved, so you know, there's like a little baby one down here in the antelope. But um, this is gonna go well in our fall vignette. Less than four bucks was a great price on it. Okay, if this doesn't say 1990s, I don't know what does. <laughs> this is this is what was hanging in my house growing up. Mom, if you're watching this, like these are 100% the colors that were going on in my house in the 90s. This like greeny gold, what is that, you guys? What is up with that? I bought this because it was it was on sale. It was five dollars, so it's it's in. Good shape, it's got the double mat, the glass, this. It's not gonna stay like this, but for five bucks, um, like I, I love creating art. Having art custom framed is like crazy expensive. I don't know why it's so expensive, but it is. So I thought for five bucks, I this is kind of like, it's all here. I just need to change it up a little bit. So what I'm planning on doing is I have this book um, birds of the world that I bought at um, the Canton flea market in Texas. If you've ever heard of it, it's like the biggest flea market like in the U.S. I think. I, I used to go every month when I lived outside Dallas and so I bought this book there once. I probably had it for five or six years and it is just full with these bird illustrations. All right, absolutely gorgeous book. So what I've done over the years, like look at that one. Is that not beautiful? What I've done over the years is um, very carefully like clipped the seams and pulled the pages out. And I've sold some of these over the years just as individual art. I've put them in sleeves and I've sold them in my booth. I've also made just lots of pieces of art around them. So I'm pretty sure that one page is gonna come close to fitting in here. Don't you think? It's gonna be close, maybe even that one. Look at how beautiful that is. So what I'm gonna do is we're gonna take this guy apart. I'm going to tone down the greeniness of this. I may just dry brush a little bit of paint on it. Um, and then I'm gonna paint the mats. And if you didn't know that you could do that, you can totally paint the mats, just take them out. Get some chalk paint, some fusion, whatever you have around. And I'm gonna paint them um, this one's probably going to be just a light beigey cream, and then I may do like a pretty little blue. So they're not going to be um, this powder blue and mauve anymore. And then we're going to put one of these beautiful bird prints on the inside, and then we're going to have some art for five bucks. So um, that's my plan on that. All right, we had to take a little road trip and um, move so I can have a little more space. But this is the last thing that I bought from the flea market. Let me show it to you guys. Look at how cute that is. It is just a little vintage child's rocking chair, but check out all of that fun green chippy paint on it. Isn't that cute? Great, great color. I love this vintage green color. So my plan for it is it's gonna go um, outside of one of my flower beds and we're gonna get a potted mum and put it on it. It may go on my front porch. I don't know, I've got this giant uh, fern out there right now. There may not be enough room, but it's gonna, it's gonna become a plant stand. It's sturdy, but it's sturdy enough to hold a mum in my flower bed. And I think it's gonna be so cute. So that was $10, which honestly felt like a little bit of a splurge. You know, if I was combing the fields somewhere at some junk market, I probably could have, I imagine the person bought this for two or three, um, but that's okay. It was kind of already there for me. I didn't have to go scouring through the fields for it. It was there. So 10 bucks I was happy with for a really fun kind of unique plant stand. Okay, so I did cheat and pulled together a few things from some of my past thrift haul videos, it's a couple of things from just around my house, but I just kind of want to play around here. I want to give you guys an idea of what it looks like to build vignettes. Um, I'm back in my front room 
pulled over just these old two suitcases that I have. This is just a, a leftover piece of beadboard from a home project that I have. Um, it's going to be the background, and so we're going to play around here. I've got some nice lighting in this area, and then we'll take some pictures, and hopefully it'll help you guys see how you can use some of this stuff to decorate, or if you're looking to build vignettes yourself, it'll give you some creative ideas for that. So that's today's video. We're just pretty bare bones around here today, just keeping it real. I'm playing around with some stuff that I bought. You guys can see how fancy my backdrop is <laughs> and what I use to take pictures here, but I do kind of love how it came together. I love those textures and the tones and the greens and um, just the brown of the woven basket. It definitely feels very fall. Both of those vignettes to me feel very fall. So. I think they'd be great to recreate up in my booth space when I take these items up there. Or I'm probably gonna uh, share some of these pictures on my social media, maybe put them on my Instagram, or even use some of them on my website. So just remember, if you're trying to sell your vintage items, you always want to be staging them, taking pictures, pulling together these kind of vignettes. Um, you know, if you just have this sitting by itself or the little clock sitting by itself. Sometimes it's hard for people to see. How do you pull it all together and make it work as decor in your house? So if you're a reseller, that's part of your job. If you're just looking to decorate with vintage items, then you know I hope maybe you've been able to kind of see, hey, this is what it looks like to pull some of it together. You just keep playing with it, layering, um, pulling together collections, you know, various height. Kind of bouncing your colors back and forth if you don't want this much greenery then take some of it out no big deal i do love keeping greenery on hand also it's just an easy way to kind of add accents uh, these are for sale in my online store i'll have the link for that in the video description if you're interested in, to check out the greenery that we have but thanks for joining me today i hope you guys had fun um i hope you liked this kind of simpler uh, just down to earth video. Let me know what you think in the comments. If you're not a subscriber, then please subscribe. We are just, I'm just like a hair away from 20,000. So that would be super fun to get to that mark soon. So thanks for taking some time to spend with me today. I'll see you guys soon. Bye-bye.